Enthusiasm, the trait that has connected Washington Township High School volleyball coach Barb McBrady to the sport 23 years ago is the same one that has her fighting back tears at the thought of stepping away. WTTV sat down with the face of Washington Township High School volleyball and her team tri-captains for a look at the growth and success of her program. I came in because I had two daughters that were going to school here and they were active in sports so I was dropping off physical and Charlie Erling says, hey, I hear you just got hired in district to be a teacher over at Chestnut Ridge. I said, yeah, I'm so excited. He goes, how would you like to coach volleyball? I'm like, Chuck, the only thing I know about volleyball is I took a course in college that all phys ed teachers to be had to take. I said, that's it. He goes, you have more knowledge than anybody else. You got the job. I'm like, seriously? I said, I'd always thought that I'd love coaching because I volunteered with my kids to coach in Parks and Rec. And he goes, yeah, he goes, you have the enthusiasm to get the program going. So this was back in 1996. So uh, I then got approved by, uh, I think Joe Vandenberg was the principal at that point, and I had to meet with him, and he said, yeah, perfect person. So we put out the flyers and all, anybody interested, please come. And we had 75 young girls come for our first tryout. The boys program I did in 97. 96 the boys also started a program and when the first year we started neither of us had an assistant coach. So in 97 the boys hired an assistant coach, JV coach, and I started with the boys then. And then when Franklin Siggio retired I got the position of the varsity boys also. My mentor to begin with was Tom Armour. Uh, Charlie Erling set up the appointment for me, me to meet with Tom Armour who is the Eastern volleyball coach and he had been doing it for about five years. So he said, I'm gonna set up a meeting. You guys can talk, you can ask him all the questions. So we met at uh, Country Club Diner, which is no longer there in Voorhees. And we sat there and he told me what I needed to do as far as my lineup, that only six players play on a court and that you have to have a setter and she takes the second ball. And then he was teaching me how to keep score and whenever I'd have any questions, I would call him and he'd help me out. And it's funny because we play Eastern and Eastern's one of our top competitors and whenever we beat Eastern, I always thank him for, for the start that he gave me. It's amazing when I look back when I started with no knowledge and what I have, the knowledge that I have now, like I know who needs to go where on defense, I know if you want to use two setters, if you want to use one setter, I know every position and who should be where for court coverage, that on every single play someone, had, someone has a position that they need to be at. So the knowledge just grows every year more and more. The current squad, they, they really gel together. Um, in the past, I've had teams that are very talented, but they can't get the job done because they don't have the, um, the family bonding that this group has. This group, they love each other. It's not about them, it's what the team can do, and that makes a big difference when you're playing only six people on the court. You have to get along, and this group gets along great on and off the court. They do a lot together. It's a highlight the end of my day to be involved with these kids and the energy that they bring and the excitement. And our program is a lot different than others. We have freshman JV and varsity, and we do all our warm-ups together. We act like we're one big family. We do our pasta parties together. Everything we do, we try and do with all three levels together. We don't separate the older kids from the younger kids. We're all so close. Like, we're all each other's best friends. And also, we have a lot of talent this year. Um, a lot of girls, like me and Izzy, like, and Taylor, we were all like young when we were on varsity. So I think that really helped our program too. Our team this year is mainly seniors. So we've been playing together. This will be our fourth year. And a lot of us have done club outside of high school. So we've experienced like just overall amount of time in and out of the gym together, working to get a better connection so we can play better in the court. Uh, we hang out with the same group of girls all the time. We're in the gym together. And then as soon as, the, as, soon as our time in the gym's on, you know, we're going to the football games together. We're having sleepovers. We're having team dinners all the time. So it's not just volleyball related. We're all each other's best friends all the time. I feel like all around, this is probably one of our strongest years. You know, last year and the year before um, was kind of a building year. But this year, like Izzy said, we have eight seniors on varsity. And two of our starters, Jenna and our setter, Helena, those are the only two girls that aren't seniors. So, you know, we've been together for a while, and I just feel like our chemistry is there this year. We have girls that have four years of experience. You know, they, we've got girls that played on freshman JV varsity, girls that have played JV varsity. We all play together in the club season, you know, out of high school season. I just feel like all around, we've been able to build with each other on and off of the court. It's my stress reliever. Anytime I'm stressed or like about school, whatever, I always like try to get my touches in. I try to like touch a ball. And like I got hurt during the club season and my anxiety just like 
went through the roof. Like, it was crazy. I didn't realize how much, like, I loved it and how much I needed it until, like, that happened, so. For me, I used to play soccer and basketball my whole life from when I was four until freshman year where I was in introduced to volleyball. And like Jenna said, like, it's my stress reliever. Like, as soon as I got that hand, the first, like, my, the ball in my hand, my first captain's practice, I couldn't get it out of my hands. And just, like, the energy that's in the gym is, like, really special. Like, after every point, no matter lo like we lose the point or gain the point, like, we're all just still so energetic because you know you have the next one coming. So I just think the energy in the room just really supports us and just, like, really relieves my stress. Yeah, and just to add on to what Izzy just said, like, whether we win or lose, the energy and the chemistry is always there. So we're always there to pick each other up, and we, whether we win the point, we lose the point. It's just something that as soon as one girl is down, you have the entire team picking them back up, which I think is really what's making us good this year. Well, I just recently committed, actually, to go. I'm going to college in New York up at Utica to continue playing volleyball. And, you know, last year I had to decide between softball and volleyball. And I've been playing softball since I was five. And I've been playing volleyball only since my freshman year. And, honestly, I just fell in love with it. There was just something about being in the gym with everyone that I, like, felt like that was my happy place. And I felt that if I have to go somewhere for the next four years, I really couldn't picture going anywhere without having volleyball in it. It's always exciting when you hear that your players are going away to, uh, to play in college. The majority of our col uh, students play D3, but they still get scholarship because they get academic money. Volleyball brings us the top academic students in, uh, in our program. A couple years back, there was eight seniors, and I said to, at our banquet, I said, you have eight graduating seniors here. The combined grade point average is 98.7. We get the kids that take the AP classes, that do the AP testing. We get all the high level kids so that they do get scholarships when they go on to college, but they enjoy the sport that they also play. I have grandkids that have come along that I'd like to spend more time with. And as a coach, you have to spend a lot of time with your team, not just at your games, not just at your practices, on your own personal time. You put a lot of time and effort into making sure that everything's running great. And it's time now that I'd like to spend with my family. You don't get to know the real bird until you're on varsity yeah. and everyone just assumes that she's mean and that she's just so tough on us but that's only because she's a varsity coach and they're scared to be on varsity. But once you're on varsity and you have her it's like like Jenna said your second mom. I've seen her as my second mom since sophomore year so I'm just happy to have her. I feel like the higher, like the more years you're into the program, you get to know her more because she can get a little scary at times. Like I know as a freshman, everybody's like scared of her, but really like once you get to know her, like she's like your second mom. Yeah, she does know. She definitely does know when it's time to push you and when you need some love. She definitely go with the whole tough love thing. You know, when we are starting to slack off, like she, she doesn't. She'll let us know right then and there. It's not something like where she'll ever go easy on us. She never babies us which I really think, you know, as the season goes on, that helps us, because as it goes on, sometimes you can get a little tired. You know, the more games you play, the more weeks you go in. You know, you get more homework as the year goes on, but she definitely knows how to keep us going throughout the season. Like, it's a highlight the end of my day to be involved with these kids and the energy that they bring and the excitement. It's great as a coach and as a teacher that when your players leave and they've been gone four, five, six years, and they still contact you, they still keep in touch with you, so they still come by and stop in practices because they love what they learned in the program. And as I said, it's a family, so they keep coming back.